called and when I Yeah, I think, yeah, well, um, yeah, I, I think from the outside end, it, it definitely looked like an onslaught of things that could, uh, you know, help make a team lose our focus. But on the contrary, um, I think coming off the bye, we were uh, so laser focused and understanding on the job at hand and what that would take if we want to achieve our ultimate goal, which is to, uh, you know, make the playoffs. We'd had to stack these days one day at a time, compound those. I know I said that a thousand times, but uh, eventually end up on Sunday after, after having a great week of practice. And uh, sure, that there was some times there where we could have been distracted. And uh, uh, I think the resiliency of this team, not only on the field, but off the field was apparent this week. And we had some great practices and, and really came together and focused on the ultimate goal, which was to uh, win in a very hostile environment, which was Arrowhead. Josh, Josh had made that long third down play on Tavius fall out of bounds. Do you ever get your catch yourself being amazed while the game is going on? Yeah, I mean, I, to be honest, you you get caught up in uh, protection schematics and you wonder why he's running. Um, just no, just truly, not like why would he do that, but why is there who's who's coming free? Who, like was that a protection issue or something like that? So uh, it's one of those things that you really kind of take a step back after the the, uh, the game and really appreciate because like like I said earlier, you just kind of focus on what was going on and uh, we we. I know you guys were focused on it, but it's a rough week for Sean. I, I know he never says things, like, but how do you feel for him with a game like this with everything that went on this week? Um, I thought he uh, he came in, you know, that, that could have, you know, we, we felt for him. We, we felt for his family. We, we, we felt for the individual because we know who Sean is. Um, I've been with him for five years, and Sean is not only an astounding football coach, a very resilient one, but is a good man. And, uh, and first and foremost, I mean, if guys have anything come up family-wise or anything like that, um, you know, I, personally, there's a story for me. I've dealt with anxiety in my past and something I'm fairly open with. And a few years ago, we're playing away, and uh, I'm having a really tough time before a game uh, getting myself ready to go. And I don't know if I'm going to play or not. And uh, Sean pulled me aside in his office and, and just really sat me down as a man and said, you know, there's so much more to life than football. You know, you have a great family, and whatever happens on that field today is not going to relate to that. And uh, just go out there and fly around. And ever since then, um, it was just one of the most unique things that he did 90 minutes before a football game, an important one a few years ago. And uh, I know that wasn't what you asked, but uh, personally speaking for myself, uh, I'd do anything for that man. Okay. Any of this more for Mitch? Pitch, um, in the first half, hitting James Cook with a touchdown, another mm. long catch. How much do you see him grow, become a part of this offense? James Cook is a phenomenal football player, a guy who brings a lot of energy, even though he can seem stoic to say the least. Uh, it's a guy who runs hard, is every there, you know, wants to run the ball, wants to take a few hits, and uh, and, and like you saw, is, is available for Josh in, in those tough times. Did you feel Last the one? team feel that the season was maybe on the line? With this game. Yeah, absolutely. I think when uh, this team is not, not only, you know, we, of course, we want to focus on one day at a time and one week at a time, but we understood that uh, to give ourselves the best position we have to kind of take a playoff mentality right now. And that doesn't mean you need to do anything else, add any more pressure to yourself, but, you know, tighten up the P's and Q's. And, and I, I think speaking for the offensive line, there's a lot of room for growth today in that regard. So a uh, great challenge coming up this coming week. Appreciate you. Yep, man.